This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Investigate and modify. Run the program. Okay. Oh, it prints some stuff. Cool. Uh, then make the experiment with the program by making the experiment modifications. Change one line at a time. In teacher.java, hello, teacher.java, what do the values weekly grade one and one refer to in get grade? Oh, so row and column. What do they refer to? Hmm. Uh, it looks like we have a class instant variable. And we must pass in the constructor some August grades, and then that's assigned there. Notice the two uh, square brackets after that. That means this is a 2D array. Is that what it's going to try changing the values in the call to get grade method to access different elements? Well, the get grade method is accessing row co column, so I could hard code it. We're really passing what grades we want there. So maybe I'll change it here. If we wanted to be exact, though, I guess I could just change it in here and ignore what gets passed. Sure. Let's see if this errors. Now it's going to, and here's why. This has uh, three index, one, two, or zero, one, two. And then each, you can think of these as rows and column. Each row is zero to two, and each column is zero to two. So we only have one, two, three values. We only have one, two, three values. So if I say zero index, that's all these. If I zero index one, that would be 90. Let me show you what I mean. Zero index one is going to be 90. And let me go ahead and change this back. I don't like that they're having us change this here. That doesn't make much sense to me. So that's going to, now let's say I do two, ah, two and zero. This should print 76. Yep, because the second zero, one, two, so row, it's the third row, but it's the second index row, zero, or the first element, which is index zero, is 76. Okay. Uh, what is happening in the for loop in the student get grade method? Try changing for loop. For loop. Ah, so we take the length of weekly grades, and when we do length at zero, guys, this is going to be the length of the first row. The length of the first row, which is this, is three. We have one, two, three indexes, which is index zero, index one, and index two. Uh, try changing it, it, the zero in the condition. Does the outcome change? It won't, because all the rows are the same length, but we could do that. Try changing the zero in the line. Oh, the result will change. Okay, because, wait, will it? Make the index zero. So if we change it here, it's not going to change. Oh, in the condition. But if we change it down here, it will. Because now it's going to print the first column. But, uh, okay. Does the output change? Oh, and that's what they had us do next. Yes, it does, because now it prints uh, row one. And then if I change it to a two, it will print the last row of data, starting with the 76. Add the following lines to the program and observe the results. So I guess I'll do that here. And ta-da, cool. So we're gonna be dealing with 2D arrays. I can't wait to see what else we're going to use them for. Onward.